Whoa, you clean up nice, boy. Well, thank you. Congratulations, gentlemen. Martinis all around. Ooh, that works for me. What are we celebrating? We're in the black. Outstanding. You bet. And I want you to keep the momentum going. I want you to get to work and make us rich. Why are you all dressed up? Hey, Slick has got a genuine bona fide date. Ooh. With an American citizen? Yes. It's Jennifer. The bottle blonde who works for the mob? Yeah. We're gonna go hit the town. Go to write a club called Pluto. It's a new club. Yeah. I figured I've been such a good boy for so long, you know. Well, that's about to change. <laughs> wow. You look amazing. You really think so? Yeah. You should be in a magazine. Or walking around New York City with a millionaire. I bet Kiefer and those Harper guys are going to be so impressed. No, oh, I am way past some stupid frat party. But how come? Are you and Kiefer going to skip the party? Are you going to sneak into the city? Oh, that's so romantic. Are you going to walk through Central Park in the moonlight? You're getting really good at the computer, right? Um, well, Spinelli's given me some pretty useful programs. Can you hack into someone's email without getting caught? Spinelli does have the perfect program for that. Excellent. This is Ethan's email address. Wait, where are you going with this? I want you to send Ethan an email, making it seem like it's from Jennifer, canceling your date for tonight. Who's Jennifer? Uh, check Ethan's email account. It should be someone she's added in the last couple of days. Oh, you also need to send her an email from Ethan, making it seem like he's canceling their date. Okay, but why? So Ethan can take me out tonight. Can't you go to the city some other time with someone who is not affiliated with the mob? I'm afraid not. Hey, leave him alone, Spanky. Better he should be with Miss Busty at Pluto than hanging out with Johnny Z, trying to bring down Sonny. The bimbo works for Sonny's consigliere. And Miss Busty is no bimbo, believe me. Okay, so perhaps she's just a, um, active participant in organized crime. That's why we're just going clubbing. No shop talk, just music, dancing, and a few drinks. Ethan, of all the beautiful women that pass through this club on a single night, why do you pick the one that can do you the most harm? Genetics. He's wired for it. Might be her right now. What is it with your children? Why are they so drawn to the mob? Wiring. Wiring. Hey, leave him alone. He's happier than I've seen him in a long time. Well, I guess I'll be flexing the sheep as usual tonight. Jennifer has to work. Oh. Bernie get jealous? Yeah, I guess. Well, she'll be back around, pal. And actually, it's probably better you do hang out here tonight. I have to leave early. Care to elaborate? I've got that meeting in Vegas in the morning. Gonna make us all a whole lot of money. I'll go pack. Uh, as much as I would love to have your company, somebody needs to hang out here and make sure Miss Busty's boy toy doesn't burn the building down. Kiefer, I am so sorry, but I won't be able to make it to the party tonight. It's a family situation. You know how insane they are. Um, but, um... I'll make it up to you, I promise. All done. The emails went through. Ethan thinks Jennifer canceled and vice versa. You're the best. Thanks. Christina? Mm -hmm. If Ethan likes you, then why doesn't he just ask you out? We may have to be discreet for a while. You mean sneak around? Well, I'm sure we'll figure something out. But I need you to do one more thing for me. Okay. But only if you let me wear your purple sweater anytime I want. The one you really like that you say is too big on me, but it isn't. You can have my purple sweater. Really? What do you want me to do? I want you to tell Mom that... I'm with Kiefer like I'm supposed to be. How come you don't want to go to the party with Kiefer? 
I think it'd be a lot of fun to meet a bunch of Harvard guys. And besides, Keith already bought you that dress and everything. Keith is going away to Harvard next year, and Ethan will be here. Plus, Ethan is way hotter than Kiefer will ever be. Ethan's pretty cute, but he's way, way too old for you. Mom will never let you go out with him. Mom doesn't have to know. At least for now. We'll sneak away like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> no. Romeo and Juliet were very close to the same age. And their families were mortal enemies, but Mom and Luke are old friends. What about... Jane Eyre and Mr. Rochester. Or Edward and Bella. That guy was centuries older than her. Well, yeah, but vampires don't count. Okay, whatever. Ethan is perfect for me. Oh, you were so close, though. That's all right. No one would blame me for calling it a night. Deal. Are you sure? Deal the damn cards. Okay. It certainly is good for our profit margin that Ethan's date canceled. Yeah, I'm surprised. I thought she was quite mistaken with him. Oh, that's me. Uh, oh, that's for you. Daddy? What? Shh, shh, shh. What? What? Alice did what? Uh, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm coming. You know, if you gave Alice more time off, she might practice her... Oh, be quiet. I have to go before the flatware starts flying. Bye. You're a shark. Hey, I'm, you're getting close. I'm sorry. I'm not buying that line again. Hey, uh, take a little break, Dodge. I'll take over. Hey, bartender, let's have a drink on the house for this gentleman, please. Yeah. Think we'll change the game here. How about a little uh, five card stuff? Why don't you pour me one of those? something to do with her canceling on me tonight? Okay, that's it. You're out of here. And no, I'm not! Gee, what, brat? 